Imagine half time in the change rooms. You know, these guys had Gatorade and, you know, yep. supplements. Mate, my, the mums would be coming in, putting food everywhere. <laughs> Lead bread, chicken, garlic. Oh, you know, that's how you'd that score. No one would want to touch it. Just <laughs> like garlic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> New NRL team. So you've got the Dolphins, the next one, the next cab off the rank, the next Uber on your app. <laughs> Which one, James? Where are you going with it? Look, I'm going to New Zealand. That's where I think the game should go. Um, I think over the, the past couple of years, the people in New Zealand, they've been, been, been starved of rugby league. Obviously, the Warriors relocating. I think we owe them big time. That I, could be, I, I disagree, Jimmy. But, uh, like, the, we can't have a second team in New Zealand when we don't even have one team there. <laughs> <laughs> they could be located in Bondi, though. The key is well, there. Yeah, re- re- so the, the point is, like, Union is their number one sport in their country. It always will be. Yeah. They love their All Blacks. Though. But for me, look, I, I'll, I'll, I say yes to a second team. I say yes to many teams. Like, we're too slow in the NRL. Too slow. We move too slow. Well, you want 30 teams in the comp? Yes, I should do. 30? I like two two divisions, right? Oh, promotion relegation. Promotion regulation. I would love that. Like I said, bring back North Sydney, bring back Perth, bring back everyone. They're all there. Gives everyone a go. We expand. We're too slow in NRL. Oh, Perth, we can't go there. Why? It's too far. But the AFL do it. (laughs) How do they do it? Oh, the plane just go there extra couple (laughs) of hours. Big deal. (laughs) We should get a team from Tasmania. The money was there. The money was there in Perth. We should get a team from Tasmania. Yeah, get them in. I mean, I just look at the basketball. The Tasmanians won first year and they've done well. Why can't we have a rugby league team? We forget about Tasmania. I'd go Perth. I'm with you. I would go Perth. I'd go Perth. Just so you could sit there on a Saturday and maybe play that game in New Zealand and have like 12 hours of rugby, that's what rugby league needs, 12 hours of blokes and females loving the game, just sitting on a couch watching all day. You know what that is, Adam? No brainer. (laughs) Why are we discussing like, okay, you can get this other team in Queensland, this, that, blah, but Perth is like, it should be ticked off. Yep. And it gives us like a bit more national comp. You know, I I don't know, so what, we're we're just too slow. Oh yeah, I'm going back to the international teams. I'm thinking Lebanon. Lebanon? Yes. (laughs) In the NRL? Yeah, imagine half time in the change rooms. You know, these guys had Gatorade and, you know, yep. supplements. Mate, my, the mums would be coming in, putting food everywhere. <laughs> Lead bread, um, chicken, garlic. Oh, you know, mate, that's how you'd that score. No one would want to touch it. You just want to go. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. burp in the scrum. <laughs> Beautiful. You know when you get cuts like in boxing, different or in league, they put that, uh, what is it, the, the gel? or Vaseline. The, mm, the yeah. Vaseline? Vaso. Garlic. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it wouldn't be cool. I mean, do we call it? Lebanon, or do you call it? I don't know. Just call it the Cedars. The Cedars, yeah. Just don't even. And we've done well in the World Cup. We played against. We played against you guys. They they did really well, actually. To be fair, and and they were pretty. They were amateur side. I mean, we had a couple of players that were playing NRL, but the Lebanese are very passionate supporters. Though there's no doubt about it. They they love their league. They do. But I just don't know where you'd base out of. That's all. Like you know. True, because it doesn't get played in Lebanon. That's. um, But we can make it happen. (laughs) Lebanon team from Perth. Yes. We build units the everywhere. We- <laughs> um, the Western Cedars. The Western work. Cedars. See, I mean, yeah, yeah, good exactly. thinking. Yeah, like we wouldn't have corporate boxes. We'd have wedding function rooms. Yeah. We'd just have weddings. <laughs> We'd be wedding in that one there. Three hundred people up there, and they're just dancing the drums, mate. This could go off. The Western Cedars. Western, Western Cedars. Cedars we work. found it. There you go. But seriously, not that that wasn't serious. P and G, they've they're obsessed in P and G yep. with. Rugby league, like it's in our time zone. It's not too far away. Is that a possibility? Have you ever played over there? I, I have, and what an experience it was! Like, we, you know, we spoke about passion and, and love for our sport. You don't. It's just on another level over there. Yeah, passionate. Yes, I don't know how much money they can bring into the game, and all that sort of setting. So I think they're behind some other areas and teams in, from that respect. Like you know, that's a hard um, thing. Do you it is, judge it's it on? Tough. Yeah. Are you going to fish where the fish are or are you going to try and grow the game somewhere else? As, as a commentator, not necessarily interested in growing the game. I want somewhere nice and exotic and I can go and enjoy a few days in the sun. So maybe somewhere like Fiji and <laughs> uh, get us on a resort, you know, bring the whole crew in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, hey, that would What do you like in the sun? What do you, want, you want a team from Hamilton? No, no, you know, like just uh, like an under an umbrella, oh, yeah, yeah, like cocktails, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, hey, promote the we, game, we, hey, we're here to promote the game. We might as well get a team from Hawaiian as well. Oh, hey, <laughs> why not? Yeah. <laughs> and if not, we can always revert to the Western Cedars. Western Cedars, and there'll be plenty of cash. <laughs> Rugby league team game, everyone has to conform to team principles. 
One area though that players can show a bit of individual flair is with the hair. And geez, there's some good examples floating around in the modern day, days gone by. For me, nothing beats a Cliff Lyons Lionel Richie impersonation <laughs> with the, 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 the hair happening in the 80s and 90s. But guys, what's your examples of, of hair that you've got envy of and you applaud? There's some great haircuts in the game at the moment, or probably maybe too much. Um, I mean, it's like we've gone back to the 70s and the 80s. The, the mullets are back. That's all it is. We're just going back in time. It's like, I mean, when we were playing school rugby, if there was a, no disrespect, if there was a redhead, the redhead always got targeted for some reason. Hey! <laughs> no disrespect. That's, are you an idiot? That's, that's, that's gingerous. That's, that's, that's gingerous. You're going blonde. You can't say that. that. No, but that, what I'm trying Mate, to say is... Well, be, being a ginger, there's no room for Larry haircuts. Like, <laughs> like I've yeah. had the same haircut since I was about 12. <laughs> Pappenhausen's got a beautiful... Let's, well, let's be honest. That's a, that's beautiful, a beautiful hair. Man. He must. Br I'm sure he brushes it. Of course he does. I, I love it. The more colour... We've got different coloured boots now. Remember, like... Back in the Graham Langlands, yep. 70, he was the first one to wear white boots. White boots, Had a shocking game because the needle. Mm. You know, and and he, he put himself out there. People put themselves out there with his haircuts. And now we've got all coloured boots, hairs, great, great. I don't think the, I don't think the mullet's uh, too out of... Uh, it's not too out there, you know what I mean? Are you Willie Mason. I'm, I'm, Willie Mason, I love, remember he had the big afro? Yeah, he looked like a microphone. All the fans used to wear yeah, the yeah. That's good, because you take advantage of it and, and you do it. He's Lebanese, always thinking of like the dollars and yeah. the merchandise and <laughs> <smarties>. <laughs> Are you for or against it? Which one are you? Like, I can't... As long as it's cash, he doesn't care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, growing up, I remember if, if we... Uh, you didn't see the mullet that often, but when you saw one, you think, there's someone unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> but you, do, like, you can't get a job with a mullet. Maybe, maybe now the way to stand out is just a short back and sides. Yeah. Like maybe yeah. maybe someone like Pappenhausen might rock up next season, 2023. He's got short back and sides, and everyone's like, "Wow, like how different's that?" Well, well, like mum and dad, what's that haircut? <laughs> what's that one called? <laughs> I want one of those. That, that's just a short I reckon back and shave side. the head like completely, but leave a little bit of the back, like a, like a the, the <laughs> end of the mullet at the back, green tape around the bald head. Oh yeah, that's different. Shave and just and leave that bit at the, the the bit at the back. Yeah, leave the bit at the back. That'd be awesome. All bald except for the bit at the back. Then put a headband on. <laughs> Still, that would be that's different. That's though. trendsetting that. That is trendsetting. Yeah, that is trendsetting. Next time you come back on yeah, the league lounge, yeah. I want that, like you just said. I could make it happen. <laughs> Remember that comment. Yeah. I will. <laughs> Rugby league's a magnificent game because they. They sit there and belt the living bejesus out of each other and then at the end of the game, they're best mates. How do we feel about them? All the hugs and kisses. As soon as the full-time whistle goes, they're on each other's page immediately. I don't mind it. It's, uh, I quite like it, to be honest with you. I just think you go out there to battle and you go out there to, to win and you should give it, a your, give it your all on the field. So after the game, when you lose, you should be like gutted. You should be like, and, and I don't know, what are we teaching kids these days? Like we, good sportsmanship is very important. To be friendly. Shake hands. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Shake hands, but every, no, we're teaching every kid. Oh no, hold on. Every kid, oh, participation award. Everyone's a winner. No, but there's gotta be a winner and a loser. And the losers show a sad face and get off. Once the whistle's gone, the game's finished. No, but James, you know this, mate. When yeah. you, you play a game, yeah. you should be so rooted that you shouldn't even, these guys look like they just walked on the field. Some of it for me, it does go a little bit too far. And you, I personally have seen lads laughing and joking and Ooh. yeah, I uh, had a not so quiet word with them in the, in the dressing sheds after did, the game. Did you wait until you get off, to the, off the field? Because yeah. I wouldn't imagine that after a loss, smiling around James Graham is a way forward in life. No, no, well, I didn't want to make a scene <laughs> on the field, but I, yeah, just made an example. Personally, I am definitely on the, you should be gutted or at least showing you gutted. It should, the cause should matter enough that it naturally just happens where you just think, I can't even, and, but having yeah. said that, having said that, if we won, Hey, how you doing? You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, I'll slap thing yeah. going on. Like if a you know a few few English lads over here, you know, if we won, I was, you know, let's have a chat. Yeah. You say lost, you're, a sore, like, go, you go say you're a sore loser and a good winner. Absolutely. Yeah. So no, no, you're you gonna you're gonna learn how to you're gonna learn how to lose. It's a really important yeah. thing. You're gonna lose at life. You're gonna learn how to lose. It's gotta hurt you when you lose. What about you two? So to hear you've told a cracking joke, Rob, you haven't quite lived up to what you wanted to live up to at a gig. I, I've walked away, not happy. So if you had a heckler, 
You wouldn't think about that. No, I would deal with it at the time. That's my, that's my he's point. He's ruthless. My point is like, yeah, <laughs> I'm he's aggressive. Hard. Can, you, can you give us an example? Hard, he's like an ex-school like teacher, so he actually, well, I remember he told off some, there was an older person. Because he oh, likes no, it. That's it. Oh, the ageist. Oh, no, that was just picking on the, picking no, no, on the old. He likes everyone to turn their chairs and faces. And this table, they had their, their back. Anyway, they all turned, one person didn't. Hey, 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 started having a go at him. What's wrong with you, madam? Like, you know, Wake this up, is... hey, hey, I'm talking to you. And then the guy goes, mate, she's deaf. I go, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh. He goes, I don't care, tell her to turn. <laughs> so you should be giving 110% every week That's right. and, and walking off not happy Jeez, if your team high, lost. High standards. I'm an ex-rugby player. Are you guys, not many people know this. I played rugby. <laughs> I played at a high level Why too. Why don't you play anymore? Injuries. Fair enough. Got my first house from Compo. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Happy for you. I don't know if they had this over in England, but I know when I was growing up, there was no bigger battle than what it was for the race for the corner post. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Belmore Sports Ground. Like, you know, little kid fan of the Bulldogs, right? I'm there. And like, we'd miss out, we'd missed out on the corner post a few times. <laughs> We planned as this one. I said, right, I'm from, I'm going to be on this angle, right on the, like, the, the, a few of my mates <laughs> on that angle, right? And as soon as they saw it, it was on. And some kids would jump the fence. So the key was to jump the fence early, a couple of seconds before the full-time yeah. siren. And still, right, we went there and we got the corner post. It was got ripped to shreds and we finally got like a good chunk of it. And we were so happy, right? We got the corner post. It was a cardboard... Took it home. What are you gonna do with it? Didn't know what to do with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I've got, what are you doing with it? Look at this, everyone. I've got this corner post. <laughs> Who cares? Oh, it's, my, it's my yellow rubbish. Yeah. Put it in the bin. Put it in the bin and take it, take it away. Yeah. Happy Christmas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we've solved it then. So to, to alleviate the problems of wondering if players are going to be too happy after a game, just send the fans out. Yes. There. Mm. And they'll rush off. Yeah, they'll yeah, get off. Yeah, you will. <laughs> then they can talk to the or draw. Yeah, exactly. And the go. fans can take it. over. So we're, not, so we're not focused on the players. The fans have run on. Pat, they're, they're amongst all the fans. It's perfect. And we're going to have a race to the next corner post. Bring it. Bring it.